Hi guys! So today I wanted to do another switch related video. I know that a lot of you guys have been asking for it and in celebration of my first switch video getting a hundred thousand views I figured it was time I finally sat down and filmed this video. I've had these items for over three weeks and I just haven't found the time or motivation to film this video but in order to bring a little more light to the switch again I figured I'd make the video today. So we have packages from Etsy containing various different Animal Crossing things related to the Switch itself. So I'm super excited to open these. All the links for these products will be in the description as well as the pinned comment if you decide that you want to purchase any of them for yourself. But before we get into that, I did also want to show you guys some new games that I have recently picked up for the Switch and give you guys like a little mini um, Switch game haul. So the first game that we have here is Borderlands The Collection. So this has all three games and the add-on content. So you've got Borderlands, Borderlands the pre-sequel, and Borderlands 2. I bought this for Brandon and his brother because they are huge Borderlands fans. I am not really a Borderlands person. I've tried various times to get into it and I just can't find myself to enjoy the game. Um, I don't know what it is because I absolutely love the art style, but it's just not for me. I'm very, very picky when it comes to first person shooters. So this is unfortunately one that I can't find myself to get into. Um, however, now that it's on the Switch, I may of course try it on my Switch console um, at some point in time and see if maybe I like it a little bit better on the system, even though I'm sure with the frame rate and stuff, it's obviously gonna be better on a PlayStation or an Xbox. I also, along with that, picked up the Bioshock collection. Um, this is kind of where we get into first person shooters that I enjoy. Um, so I really, really love the Bioshock collection, um, the trilogy here. So this one has um, Bioshock Remastered, Bioshock 2 Remastered, and Bioshock Infinite. This is the complete edition, so it has all the bonuses. I have played and completed uh, Bioshock Infinite. I absolutely love playing them so now that I have it on the switch I definitely will be able to play all three of them I do own this collection on the PlayStation as well next up we have this another uh, group of games so this is the Trine series the ultimate collection so we've got Trine 1, 2, 3, and 4 I really don't know anything about any of these games I just see that it's a little bit of a platformer and the art style is really, really beautiful. I actually picked this up at GameStop and it comes with a map, which is super, super awesome. Um, and it was part of their deal of the day and it was only $16. So to get four games for $16, I didn't see where I could possibly go wrong. So I'm excited to try it um, and see if I enjoy it or not. Again, I really do enjoy the graphics and I do like a lot of platformers. So I think that this will be interesting to try and it was just too good of a price to pass up. And lastly, we have Black Sad. So this is very interesting. Um, a lot of people related this to the Wolf Among Us and it does seem like that. Um, I've heard that the comic books that it's based off of are pretty uh, graphic and that some people didn't think that the game was going to portray it correctly. This is really cool. This is my first like deluxe edition of a Switch game. So we've got some really cool like art cards here and then we've also got the game itself. Now I have not played this. This was another GameStop deal. Um, I think this was only $14.99 and I saw some gameplay on it and I was just so intrigued by it. I absolutely love The Wolf Among Us and I love the underlying messages and um, topics that they're discussing through these characters. This is one that I debated on potentially doing like a gameplay video on, but I figured maybe um, I shouldn't. So super excited to give this one a try as well. This will actually probably be one of the first ones out of the four it showed you that I'll actually play myself. I guess we can get started and we can open up some of this Switch stuff. So this is going to be the first one that I open. I'm not sure 
what is what. Oh, this one's so cool. Okay, so these are just some stickers that I got. I thought that it was so funny. It is Tom Nook, and he's holding the bells. So these are just like stickers. You can put them on your Switch or on something else, but it, they're super funny, and it says F you pay me because I just think he's a crook. He's so funny. So I got these. I actually want to put one on my iPad, and then um, if I ended up getting a clear case for this, I wanted to slide this in the back of that as well because I just thought that it was too funny. So I will not actually be using these in this video because I don't want to just attach them to anything and waste them. All right, this I believe is going to be a decal that I purchased. So I actually have this right here because this is the reason why I purchased the decal. So this is the decal that I purchased. It comes with two Joy-Con decals, but I don't really care about those. Looks like it comes with something else in here. This is the decal. And I just want this little middle sticker. So I'm not going to use these Joy-Con ones. Um, I'm kind of too scared to use the Joy-Con ones. But we will go ahead and see if I can apply this or not. Like I said, I already wiped it down. I don't see any new debris on there, so I'm not going to go ahead and waste that. But we are going to open up this, and hopefully we will be able to attach it without any issues. It is textured. It's got a very nice texture to it. This is probably the easiest decal, and there's already a piece of hair on it. I don't know how that happened, but it's okay. I don't think it's very even, but I think I did it. I don't know. <laughs> Let's go ahead and actually remove our Joy-Cons and attach them and see how it looks. That is so cute! I mean, it's a little bothersome, but I think for a first pass, I did pretty good, honestly. It could have been a lot worse. I think that is so, so cute. I love it. And you guys can still see the lights. So, applause to me. This is so cute. And now it will match my dock, which is perfect. I would definitely rate this like a 10 out of 10. I love the texture that's on it. It almost feels like it could potentially be waterproof. I'm not sure. And I think that the print job is very nice. This is so cute. Like, I really, really like that. All right, next up. This is what actually encouraged me to make the video, because I can kind of see through here. It's from Potato Games, and they are Isabel Joy-Con thumbstick caps. How cute are these? And look at this adorable, adorable packaging. I love it so much. I really do enjoy these um, paw print ones that I already have on my Switch. I think they're very complimentary to the Joy-Cons, but when I saw these, I couldn't resist. So I really don't want to destroy this packaging. It is so cute. So I'm super excited to finally be opening them. What they look like, very, very stretchy, very, very flexible. They should be easy to apply. Very, very detailed. Very, very cute. So let's go ahead and take these off. And give this a try. They're very, very easy to apply. All you're going to do is take them. And you're going to kind of turn it inside out. And you're just going to set it on top and let it go. I thought that these would also be super, super cute on my switch light since it is yellow oh my god 
They're so cute. I might actually put the one paw print back on. I feel like maybe I don't want to have them both her. Or is it okay? Is it cute? I think it's really cute. I think there's a lot of detail in her. All right, guys, it is time for our last package. And I think this might be one that I am most excited about aside from the Isabel one. Oh my God. So we got a fossil little trinket box. Look at how amazing this is. So it's just like the fossils that you dig up in the game. It's got this cute little lid. It's a very flimsy lid. It will just fall off. So just keep that in mind. But it is super cute. It is made out of um, 3D printing. You can get these in various sizes, but I picked this little small one. And my intentions for it, in order to make it go with the Switch, were to be able to potentially store some of my loose cartridge games in here. I do think that this may not be the proper way to store these games, but I thought that it was really interesting. So I have a few games here that I've been storing in here. And as you guys can see, you can just kind of put them in there. And you've got some games. Super, super cute. Or you could put your extra thumb grips in there. And then I really wanted to put this next to my dock in my bedroom. So I think that's where I'm going to put it. And I think it'll be really, really cute. Of course, I'm not going to have any intentions of flinging these games around and damaging them. But it is a nice little storage way to hide some of these little things and to display them really, really cutely. So I'm super, super happy about this and I really, really like this. Alright guys, so that is all that I have for you um, in this little Nintendo Switch Animal Crossing accessory sort of video. And let me know in the comments down below what your favorite accessory was that I picked up. Don't forget the awesome stickers. And if you've picked up any new Nintendo Switch games, let me know in the comments down below. Let me know what you've been playing and what you've been enjoying recently. Maybe I'll find some other games to indulge in. Until then, please continue to stay safe, and I'll see you guys again very, very soon. Peace out, Girl Scouts.